Melissa Peterman, and welcome to the Singing Bee. Tonight, six contestants will battle it out to become the Singing Bee champion and get the chance to win up to $10,000. Let's find some contestants. Who wants to play the bee tonight? All right, I'm coming down here. Singing Bee, we're glad you're here. You know, it's a good thing testing your knowledge of lyrics isn't on the SATs. Because what I've learned from hosting the Singing Bee is that nobody would have gotten into college. <laughs> nobody. So we've created our own SAT. But all that reading, writing, and arithmetic won't help you pass the splat. Sing perfect lyrics aptitude test. I know. I made that up. <laughs> And tonight on The Singing Bee, we're going to test the abilities of six lyric savants and see who will pass the splat. <laughs> it's fun to say. Because here at The Singing Bee, it's all about the lyrics. But remember, you don't have to sing it well, you just have to sing it right. right. Very good. And to help you sing it right, we have got the best band in the business, ladies and gentlemen, Steve Dorf and the Beehive. Thank you. Hi, guys. Hey, Melissa. How are you? Good. Hi, Steve. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. You, you got a little something in your hair there, Steve. What is that? Well, just the usual hair products that Wendy puts in there. I for see me. that. Um, but there's, and it seems to be more than the usual things in your hair. Um, there's another little thing up there. Just Really? Yeah, there's something up there. It looks like a some bug nice. or, nice. I don't know, some sort of larva or something. We don't know what could be in that hair. What is that? It's a bee. A bee? It's like a, I think, I think it's still alive, too. It's, is it really? It hasn't in that stung hair? me yet. It hasn't stung you yet? Is it, is it living in your hair because your hair sort of resembles a beehive, perhaps? I never thought of that. I'm going to let that be. Um, all right. Hey, singers. How are you? Hello. Say hello to Storm, Bobby, Jared, Kimmy, Paul, and Kim. Hi, guys. So I know that I've given you sort of an assignment to sort of work on a theme for me. Uh, can I hear what you've got going on so far? Who brings sunshine to a cloudy day? Mm, help out. Mama Melissa on the singing bay. Oh, there you go. So I love it. How come the boys weren't singing? Well, we're still, we're we still. We weren't invited. It was to that. not rehearsal. We weren't oh, invited. It's really just my rehearsal. moment. Really. Oh, okay. Well, maybe next time you guys could come up with something all together. But I loved it. Thank you very yeah, much. We'll all right. We'll give it up one more time for Steve Dorf and the Beehive.
It is time to start our show with a little game we like to call Pick Four. You guys ready? You're ready, Kevin. I'm going to give you the year, artist, and name of a song. And when the band stops playing, you need to sing in the next phrase correctly. The first four of you to do that are going to be moving on. And since your positions were randomly selected, that means, Kevin, you're up first. Get on up here. I, you're ready to play. I'm excited. <laughs> All right. Kevin, your pick four is from 1979. It's Hank Williams Jr. And the song is Family Tradition. So don't ask me, Hank, why do you drink? Hank, why do you roll smoke? Why must you live out every song you wrote? No, Kevin, I'm sorry. That was not right. All right. But you know what? The game's not over. Just beginning. All right. All right. Take a step back. Come on, Alyssa. How about you give Hank Williams Jr. a little try? Get it, Bobby. So don't ask me, Hank, why do you drink? Hank, why do you roll smoke? Why must you live out? All the songs you wrote. No, Alyssa, I'm sorry. That is not right either. All right, Victoria, same song. Your turn. So don't ask me, Hank, why do you drink? Hank, why do you roll smoke? Why must you live out those songs that you wrote? Oh, no. All right, Jason, Hank Williams Jr., do it. So don't ask me, Hank, why do you drink? Hank, why do you roll smoke? Why must you live out the songs that you wrote? Yes! Nicely done! You guys were all very close, but just a tiny bit off. All right. Brian, that means you are up next. There's three chairs that need to be filled. Brian, your song is from 2007. It's Toby Keith, and it's High Maintenance Woman. I ain't hooked it up yet, but I'm trying hard as I can. It's just a high maintenance woman in love with a dangerous man. That was an original lyric, Brian. Wasn't, wasn't right, but it was a good try. All right, Marlene, give Toby Keith a try. Marlene! I ain't hooked it up yet, but I'm trying hard as I can. It's just a high-maintenance woman. Don't want no maintenance man. Take that second chair, Marlene. Nice job! All right, Kevin. You're in it again. Come on up here. Kevin, your song is from 2001. Okay. It's John Mayer, and it's Your Body is a Wonderland. Okay. One mile to every inch of your skin like porcelain. One pair of candy lips and your bubblegum tongue. musical chair right over there, Kevin. All right. Alyssa, there is one chair left. Is it yours? Alyssa. All right, Alyssa, your song is from 2008. It's Blake Shelton, and it's She Wouldn't Be Gone. Driving like hell, flying like crazy down the highway, calling everyone we know, stopping any place she might be, going any place she might go. Alyssa, take that last chair because you are moving on. Thank you, Victoria. Thank you, Brian. You guys are great. All right, we are ready to play the B. We now have our four contestants, one of whom will be our champion. Who's it going to be? We'll find out just ahead on the singing B. Stay tuned. When I find a new man that I want for mine, always breaks my heart in two.
back to the singing bee. Jason, Marlene, Kevin, and Alyssa have survived the first cut. Yes, you can give them a woo. All right. But over the next three rounds, our contestants will earn points playing different games. The two players with the highest score will duke it out for the singing bee trophy and a shot at 10,000 bucks. But first, I'm just going to take a little moment to get to know our contestants a little bit better. Hi, guys. Welcome. Thank you. How are you? Are you excited? Very. Yes. yes. Jason, you seem like you're bursting with excitement. I am bursting with excitement. <laughs> if that's your bursting, I can't yeah. wait till we explode. Yeah. Um, you collect vinyl albums? I do. Yep. Ooh, what's one of the oldest ones you have? Oh, I guess some Beatle albums are probably the oldest. Awesome. Oh, no, I have some Jimmy Rogers, the Blue Yodeler, so they're That's really, really yeah. cool. And do you have a, a place to play them and everything, and a turntable and oh, everything? Oh, yeah, I've got my dad's original turntable that he had when I was born. It still runs. So. Oh, my gosh, you should yeah. totally have a party in, like, a basement. That oh, would be awesome. I still live in my mom's basement. Do you no, really? I don't. No. <laughs> You're what I call a catch. I appreciate it. Well, have a really good time, Jason. Have fun, and uh, good luck. Thank you. Hi, Marlene. Hi. How are you? I'm doing great. Well, you look very pretty in your oh, red top. Thank I you. love it. Um, and Marlene, where are you from? I'm from Murrieta, California. Very cool. Very cool. And is this true, uh, Marlene, that you once bungee jumped in New Zealand just, you know, just to try something new? Just I did. And then I had so much fun that they wanted me to, I said I wanted to go a second time. Really? So they said, okay, if you want to go a second time, it can be half price. But if you bungee jump topless, we'll let you go for free. And I said, no, I don't want to do that. <laughs> a party you wanted to, didn't you? I Marley? know. Well, my husband wanted to save a buck, but I said, no way. <laughs> He's all like, no, seriously, it's just for the money. Yes. <laughs> um, well, that's, that's pretty great. I wish you good luck today. I hope you have a great time Thank and you. have a lot of fun. Thank you. Thanks for being here. <laughs> hey, Kevin. Hello. How are you, Kevin? Doing well, thank you. Um, Kevin, uh, I have to just say this. So your mom is the reason that you're on the show today? Tell me about that. She is. Really? We, we would watch it, and I would get all the answers right, because, you know, I'm awesome like that. <laughs> and, <laughs> but she, 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 would always, she would always say, you should just you should go. You should just go. Be yeah. on the show. You have to meet Barbara Jean. <laughs> Your mom, yeah, my mom knows me from my, the, the Reba from show? From Reba, yeah. Really? She loves, loves, loves Reba. Well, does she and like, you. Does she like me on this show, too? She loves you on this show because oh. you dance. She likes your dancing. Oh. Is your mom trying to, like, hook us up? I think so, because she really wants grandkids. Oh. I'm just throwing it out there, because you're funny, I'm awesome, they'd be good grandkids. We'd have some awesome kids. Right. Um, well, Kevin, uh, you seem like a lot of fun. What's your mom's name? My mom's name is Pam. Oh my gosh, my mom's name is Pam. See, it's meant to be. Let's just take it slow, Kevin. I don't want to rush into anything. Fair enough. All right, well, Kevin, good luck. I'm so glad you're here. Alyssa, hello. Hi, Melissa. How are you? Are you having a good time so far? I'm having a blast. Isn't it fun? It's so much fun. It's super fun. Um, and it says here you have a mild case of OCD when it comes to cleanliness. You're like one of those clean freaks. I am. What, what's and that? proud. You own it. <laughs> Um, well, like, well, how does it manifest? Like, do you have to, like, always have hand sanitizer and, like, vacuum stuff? I vacuum all the time, and my pillows and everything that are on my couch have got to be in the exact same position. Otherwise, I can't sleep. You know what would cure that? A four-year-old. Mm. I don't have one of those. Oh, I have one, and I don't even know where the vacuum is. Well, Alyssa, thanks for being here today. Good luck, you guys. Good luck to all of you. Have fun. Now it's time for Random Shuffle. It's a fun one. It's kind of a tough one. What's going to happen is that as the band plays, lyrics are going to pop up on that screen right in front of you in random order. When the band stops playing, you need to unscramble the words and sing them correctly. Remember, everything you need to sing it right, right there in front of you. It's just all mixed up. And if you sing it right, you're going to get yourself five points. And Jason, since you qualified first, that means you're up. So take center stage. All right, Jason, your random shuffle is from 1994. The artist is Colin Ray, and the song is My Kind of Girl. When I saw you by Cosmo in a hot rod magazine, I said to myself, now there's a girl for me. And when I asked you to go for a ride, you stole my heart when you said if I can drive. 
I said, how about some music? You said, you got any more? That's when I knew you were my kind of girl. Nice points, Jason. Nice job. Marlene, get on up here. Good job, Jason. All right, Marlene. Your song is from 2002. It's Emerson Drive, and it's Fall Into Me. Baby, can't you see? <laughs> um, it's actually right here, waiting, staying strong, come and fall into me. It's hard, right? But good job, Marley. Don't worry, it's early. All right, Kevin, get on up here. All right, it's from 1991. It's the Spin Doctors, and it's Little Miss Can't Be Wrong. Little Miss, Little Miss, Little Miss Can't Be Wrong. Little Miss, Little Miss, Little Miss can't be wrong Ain't nobody gonna bow no more when you sound your gong Little Miss, Little Miss, Little Miss can't be wrong What you gonna do to get into another one of these here rock and roll songs? Five points! Kevin, nice job! You can take a seat, very nicely done. All right, Alyssa, get on up here. All right, Alyssa. All right, your song is from 2008. It's Brad Paisley, and it's Waiting on a Woman. They said the wedding took a year to plan. You talk about an anxious man. I was nervous, waiting on a woman. Then he nudged my arm like old men do and said, I'll say this about the honeymoon. It was worth it. Yeah, what's well, five points for you, Alyssa. Nice job. All right, Jason, Kevin, and Alyssa are all on the board with five points. Marlene is not on the board yet, but it's still early. Anything can happen. Up next, it's duet time. We're going to do a little singing with the enemy. Who's going to take control of this game? Find out when the singing bee returns. Welcome back to the Singing Bee. Jason, Kevin, and Alyssa all have five points. And Marlene hasn't scored yet, but it's okay. It's still very early in the game. And now it's time to play Singing with the Enemy. Don't worry, it's not that dangerous. We're going to split you guys into pairs. We're going to take turns singing back and forth every time the band stops playing. For every lyric you get correct, you're going to get yourself five points. Jason and Marlene, you guys are up first, so come on up. Jason, Marlene, you ready? Your song is from 1989. It's Garth Brooks, and it's much too young to feel this damn old. I hear you. This old highway is getting longer. It seems there ain't no end in sight. To sleep would be best, but I just can't afford the rest. But I just can't afford to rest I got a ride in Denver tomorrow night I call the house Ay, 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 ay <laughs> But no one answered For the last two weeks no one's been home I guess he's through with me Tell the truth, I just can't see. I just can't see what's kept the woman all alone. Uh, holding on this long, and the white line's getting longer, and the saddle's getting cold. 
And the saddle's getting cold I'm much too young to feel this damn old All my cards are on the table And my heart is on the table <laughs> With no ace left in the hole I'm much too young to feel this damn old job you guys Marlene that was enjoyable for me what was that ay, 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 for ay, one ay, ay, ay. and it was uh, I put my um, heart on the table <laughs> like a lot of people wear it on their sleeve but you're like you know what that's not obvious I'm gonna put it right on the table I love there that you um, well you know what Jason you got two right for ten points nice job Marlene you did not get any right but you were sure fun to watch very nice take a seat you guys all right get on up here Kevin and Alyssa Kevin and Alyssa, you guys ready to do a little singing with the enemy? Oh, yeah. Ooh. Bring it on. Ooh, that's what I like to hear. All right. Your song's from 2006. It's Montgomery Gentry, and it's What Do You Think About That? I heard it through the grapevine. My new neighbor don't like my big red barn. A 47 Ford bullet holes in the door broke down motor. In the backyard. In the front yard I gotta have a mind to paint a plywood sign And nail it up on a Naughty pine tree Naughty pine tree Saying I was here first This is my piece of dirt And you're rambling Don't phase me <laughs> Don't rattle me Some people care about what other people think Worry about what they say. Worry about what they say. Let a little gossip coming from a loose lip. That's okay by me. Ruin a perfect day. Saying blah, blah, blah. Just a jack in their jaws. Gotta let it roll off of my back. I don't give a darn what other people think. What do you think about that? What do you think about that? Nice job! Kevin, you were really close. It wasn't the front yard, it was the backyard. It went, didn't phase, it didn't rattle. You were almost there. Close. You were very, very close. But Alyssa, you got a perfect score. Three out of three for 15 points. Nice job, you guys. That means, Alyssa, right now, you are in the lead with 20 points. Jace is right behind you with 15, and Kevin has got five. Marlene is still not on the board yet, but you know what? It all comes down to the karaoke challenge, where anything can happen. Stay tuned. Singing Bee, Alyssa is in the lead with 20 points, and Jason is right behind her with 15. Kevin has five points, and Marlene is still not on the board. But you know what? It is still anyone's game because it is now karaoke challenge time. Yeah. Karaoke challenge is just like regular karaoke. The only glitch is 15 of the words are going to be missing. You sing in the correct missing lyric, and you're going to get two points, which means this is still anyone's game because this game is worth up to 30 points. This can make it or break it for some of you, and the two players with the highest score will then advance to the chorus showdown for a chance to be our Sing and Be champ and a shot at $10,000. Marlene, you have the lowest score, so that means you're going to be singing first, so come on up here in center stage. Take a seat, you guys. Marlene, do you like Dirk Bentley? I love Dirk Bentley. I do too. Well, you're going to sing a Dirk Bentley song. It's from the year 2009, and it's Feel That Fire. Come on, Marlene. Feel she wants her nails painted black. She 
wants the toy and the cracker jack. She wants to ride the bull at the rodeo. Yeah! She wants to wear my shirt to bed. She wants to make every stray a pet. Drive around in my truck with no place to go. But she needs to be the board now i did not know you could hit that high note i didn't know either let me I hear it one it. time he, he, he. my uh, children are going to be mortified that i say so often <laughs> <laughs> no they are going to be proud of you marlene because you just got 15 out of 15 for a perfect score you went from zero to 30 points in like two seconds give it up for marlene thank you marlene all right kevin 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 all right, Kevin, your song is the Alabama hit from 1981 called Love in the First Degree. Okay. Yeah. One sort of love as a prison A place I didn't want to be So long ago I made a decision to be footloose and fancy free But you came and I was so helpless To gamble on love just one time I never thought I would get caught It seemed like the perfect crime Baby, you left me to Kevin, you are the king of karaoke because you just got 14 out of 15. Almost perfect score. 28 points for you, Kevin. That brings you up to 33, which means right now you're in the lead. Very Thank nicely you. done. All right, Jason. Jason. All right, Jason, your song is from 1982. It's the Steve Miller Band. It's Abra Cadabra. I heat up, I can't cool down. You got me spinning round and round. Me, baby, let the fire get higher. Abracadabra, I want to reach out and grab you. Abra, abracadabra, abracadabra. Wow! Do you know, you know that song pretty well, don't you? Have you done that song at karaoke before? I sang this song when I was a little kid on my little 45 record player. You did? Yeah. Well, it paid off because you just got a perfect score. 15 out of 15 for Jason, giving you 30 points, which means you are in the lead with 45 points. Jason, nice job. All right, All right we've got Alyssa. Alyssa. Alyssa, this song is sort of a special song to me. I hope you're going to like it, and I hope you'll do, do me proud. And a certain redhead I know, do her proud. The song is from 2001. It's Reba McIntyre, and it's the theme song from a TV show that you might be enjoying. <laughs> it's called I'm a Survivor. Hit it. I was born three months to her. 
early The doctor gave me 30 days But I must have had my mama's will And God's amazing grace Guess I'll keep on living Even this love's to die for Your bags are packed and I ain't crying You're walking out and I'm not trying To change your mind Cause I was born to be The baby girl without a care A victim of circumstance The one who ought to give up But she's too hard-headed A being a mom who works too hard Who loves her kids and never stops With gentle hands and the heart of But I love that song. Did you know the song? I know it from your show. Oh, good answer. Well, uh, Alyssa, I think you did Reba real proud. You got 13 out of 15. That is 26 points, which brings you up to 46 points, which means, Alyssa, you and Jason are moving on to the chorus showdown. Thank you, Marlene and Kevin. You were awesome. All right, we're down to two contestants, but only one gets the Singing Bee Trophy and a shot at $10,000. Who's it going to be? Find out next. There's a great big party going on. There's a party going on. That's the dancing song. There's a great big party going on. Welcome back to the Singing Bee. We started with six. Then there were four, and now we're down to our two final contestants. Give it up one more time for Jason and Alyssa. Nice job, you guys. Only one of you will be our champion and get the chance to play for $10,000. And we're going to find out who that is as we play Chorus Showdown. We don't call it a showdown for anything, because this one's pretty tough. Do you guys know about this game? Yeah? Yep. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's super easy, right? I mean, just the band's going <laughs> to yeah. play a few lines from a song, and then all you have to do is sing the entire chorus word for word perfectly, right? And the right. winner of the chorus showdown will go on to be our Sing and Be champion and get the chance to win up to $10,000. Woo! Alyssa, since you have 46 points, you are in the lead, which means you get to choose whether you want to play or pass the first chorus showdown. I'm just going to give you the year and the artist, and you decide, okay? Okay. The year is 1991, and the artist is George Strait. You want to play or pass? Pass. Ooh, pass. All right, Jason, that means you're playing, and Alyssa, come on over here. All right, Jason, you want to know what George Strait song you're singing? Yeah. It's You Know Me Better Than That. She respects my ambition, thinks I'm talented too. But she's in love with an image time is bound to see through. You know me better than that. You know me that gets lazy and fat. Oh, you were off to a good start. It's you know the me that gets lazy and fat. I'm sorry, Jason, but you know what? It ain't over yet. Let's see what happens. Alyssa, get on up there. You're in it, Alyssa. All right, Alyssa, you get this right. And you are tonight singing be champion, and you're gonna move on to try to win 10 grand. You get it wrong, and that means you are still in the game, Jason. All right, your song, Alyssa, is from 1988. It's Randy Travis. And it's deeper than the holler. I come from the country and I know I ain't seen it all. But I heard that ocean salty and the stars they sometimes fall. And that would not do justice to the way I feel for you. So I had to sing this song. About all the things I knew My love is deeper than the holler Stronger than the river 
Higher than the pine trees growing tall upon the hill. My love is purer than the snowflakes that fall in late December. And honest as a robin on the springtime windowsill. Oh! Alyssa, you were so, so close. Instead of saying on a springtime windowsill, you said on the springtime windowsill. Ah! Okay. One word. Oh, God. All right. That means, Jason, you are still in the game. Get on up there. Okay. All right, Jason. Your song is from 1999. The artist is Lone Star, and it's Amazed. Never been this close to anyone or anything. I can hear your thoughts. I can see your dreams. Every time I rise, me, there's something... Oh, it's, I don't know how you do what you do. I'm so in love with you. Jason, all right, that means Alyssa in it again. Uh, all right, Alyssa, you get this right. You're the champ. You get it wrong, and we're going to tiebreaker. All right, your song is from 1997. It's Trisha Yearwood, and it's Perfect Love. Sunday morning when the paper comes, let's lead it front to back and see what's going on. Drink our coffee by the flower bed and talk about the stuff that's running through our heads. When you look at me the way you do, I can't help but look right back at you. Yeah, this is a perfect love. We're doing nothing but what a perfect love does. We're not trying to make history, it's just a you and me in a perfect love. <laughs> Alyssa, you are tonight's Singing Me Champion. Jason, thank you so much, you are so great. Coming up next, our champion will try to win $10,000 when she plays the final countdown. One more time for Alyssa, our Singing Bee champion. Guess what, Alyssa? Right now, $10,000 is on the line in tonight's final countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. It's the final countdown. Yeah. All right, Alyssa, the band is going to play up to seven songs. For every phrase that you sing correctly, you're going to get $500. It's nice. It's good. Yeah, but you sing five out of seven, and you're going to walk home with ten grand. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds a lot better. All right, Alyssa, however you sing it wrong, you're going to get a strike, and three strikes means game over. You ready to do this? Oh, I'm ready. Bam. <laughs> All right, here's your first song. If you're going through hell, keep on going. Don't slow down. If you're scared, don't show devil even knows you're there. $500 is in your pocket right now, Alyssa. Nice job. Right out of the gate. All right. Here's your next song. Hit it, Storm. Never knowing what could have been Not seeing that love in you is what I was trying to do. Bam! $1,000 is in your pocket right now. Alyssa, no strikes so far. You need three more right, and you're going to walk home with $10,000. Here's your next song. She's a good bass fisher, a dynamite kisser, country as a turn and green. She's got her, her daddy's money, her mama's good looks. And look who's looking at me. Bam! 
$100, no strikes yet, Alyssa. You need two more right, and you got 10 grand. All right, here's your next song. Best days of my life. Alyssa, give yourself a big one. Bam! You have two thousand dollars in your pocket. You have no strikes. You get this one right, Alyssa. You've got ten thousand dollars, and you are tonight's singing beat champ. All right, let's do it. That you're always in my heart. You're always on my mind And when it all becomes too much You're never far behind <laughs> Alyssa, you just won $10,000! Oh! You are tonight's singing me champion. Here is your trophy. Great job. I'm Alyssa Peterman, and remember, you don't have to sing it well. You just gotta sing it right. I'll see you next time.